I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I just got in an epic wrestling match with my dog and we both kind of lost because my face collided with his foot. So I think I probably lost more than he did. So if you can see a nice big fat welt down the side of my chin, that's what that is, friends, I promise. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to another episode of Ask Brit Shit. Will you or you will <laughs> you will ask me things and I will answer them if you're lucky. Just kidding. For Christmas, I got a lot of minis. So instead of having a pour of Makers or Eagle Rare or Jack or whatever the hell it is I've been drinking, I thought I would try this Winchester Straight Bourbon Whiskey Mini. Um, I, I don't know what this is gonna taste like, but we'll find out. Oh, ooh. That's not bad. It has a very strong, ooh, bite to it. Oh. All right, let's do this. First question comes from Justin. You have to pick one, the other is gone forever. Legend of Zelda or Final Fantasy? All retro ones disappear too. You know, to be honest, this really isn't that difficult of a question. Um, I love Final Fantasy, don't get me wrong. Nine and I have some fantastic memories together. Nine turned me into the woman that I am today. Seven was really fun. I just finished that a few months ago. And 15, I think, was a really good rad step for the franchise. And I can only imagine it getting better from here. Uh, that said, it's no Legend of Zelda. And Legend of Zelda and I go way back. I mean, way back. So, you know, there, there's like 20 plus years of history there between Legend of Zelda and I. And it's just something, there's something very magical about that series. No matter how hard, because I feel like no matter how hard Nintendo tries to screw it up. And I say that with love, Nintendo. Please don't hate me. Uh, it always prevails and it's always charming in some way shape or form granted i think breath of not breath of the wild oh my nose itches i think uh what was the the one the the latest one what the fuck is my problem it's that fucking whiskey dude i'm telling you skyward sword jesus uh skyward sword i thought that was kind of no oh, i really wasn't a fan of that zelda i didn't like how it reused environments uh you know even though it was supposed to be part of the story just Anyway, I won't go on a rant. This is not the video for that. Uh, so Legend of Zelda will have to say, and uh, sorry Final Fantasy, I love you, but man, gotta, gotta show some love and commitment and devotion to my man Link. Next question comes from Andrew Barrett. Out of all of the Dragon Age games, which one is your favorite and why? No question, Dragon Age Origins is by far, hands down, my favorite Dragon Age game. It, uh, what I really appreciate about Dragon Age Origins is it had that very old school RPG feel to it and uh, I liked how you could assign your points however you wanted and I liked how you always were given multiple dialogue options but they're all like in a list view. It's something about that it just like brings back days of yesteryear. Not that there's anything wrong with like the dialogue wheel but just seeing it that way. And the music and the soundtrack in the game is just so gorgeous and oh man the characters in that game like you have such very characters that interact with each other so well and they're just so well developed and there's so much lore in that game and I'll never forget how it made me feel the first time I played it uh especially Alistair if you catch my drift or her um yeah Dragon Age Origins I feel like that's gonna be a really really hard one to beat um and I don't know if Bioware will ever be able to beat Dragon Age Origins within the Dragon Age franchise I just uh you know like even though come out Dragon Age Inquisition 2 it's gonna be really hard to top Origins Something about that game is just very magical and special. And Dragon Age 2 was a good one as well. Um, I, it took me two playthroughs about a year and a half apart before I could really appreciate what Dragon Age 2 was. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition was also a great game. A lot, very moving, uh, kept me on the edge of my seat. Loved watching the characters grow and develop and the story was very interesting. Um, it just wasn't, it's just no Dragon Age Origins. So, I need to play Dragon Age Inquisition again. Um, it's been a year or so since I've... No, it's been more than a year, hasn't it? A year and a half? I don't know. I haven't played it since I finished it right around the time it released. So I need to get back into it. But anyway, derailed. Again, uh, Dragon Age Origins is my favorite. <laughs> Next question. That was so weird. Comes from Lee. What made you want to be a gamer? And what would your top favorite games for certain systems? Oh, and what would be your top favorite games for certain systems? I don't really know how to answer your first question regarding what made me want to become a gamer. I feel like, you know, you either are or you're not. Basically, you enjoy it or you don't. And if you do enjoy it, then congratulations. You can slap that gamer title on you with pride if that makes you feel good. Uh, 
My grandma was the one who got me into gaming back in the day, back when I was five years old. Uh, well, before I was five, I'd watch her play games and I got my own system, Super Nintendo, at the age of five. And she would always keep me, she and my aunt would always keep me privy to what games I should play. They introduced me to Link to the Past, they introduced me to Donkey Kong, Earthbound, and all those Final Fantasy, Breath of Fire, all those games. Um, so they had a big influence on it. And it's, I mean, unless you're talking about like what made me want to become like a, like a, a personality within the industry. And to answer that question, uh, it, it was just something I was, I was working at a dead end job and I hated my job and I just wanted to do something that made me feel like I was being productive with my time. So I started blogging and people liked my weirdness. And then I just started doing more stuff because it was an outlet and made me feel like I was being productive with my life. And then it just kind of turned into what I do today. And it's just cause it's fun and it's a rad community and it's very, I feel very honored to be considered a part of it because it's it's just so fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as my favorite games for certain systems go, I have made my top PlayStation and my top Super Nintendo list videos somewhere on this channel. If you just do a search for them, I'm sure you can find them. Uh, I really want to do more of those for other systems because those are those are just fun videos to make and it's fun to like make me pick between one, one or the other, like one game and the other, like trying to pick between number one and number two is really hard. I was gonna try to make a joke with that, but anyway, like number one, number two, haha. -ha. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that was a terrible, don't ever do that. Oh, oh. oh. okay, I got it. I gotta do this last question before that whiskey hits me. Fuck, all right. Last question comes from Eddie the Wit. Have you played the Resident Evil 7 demo and what are your thoughts? Go. I have. I played it at E3 shortly after its unveiling and then I played it recently at PlayStation Experience last month and I have loved every demo that I've played. I've only played probably like 25 minutes between the two of them and I really, really, really want to get a let's play up of me playing the demo on PlayStation VR before the game releases later this month. Um, I've played it on VR only. I haven't played it without VR. So knowing that I've played it on VR, I can say that I really, really fucking enjoyed it. Oh. Every time I played, I found myself staring at the attention to detail in uh, every part of the house, whether you're in the kitchen, the bathroom, the attic, the basement, the hallway, wherever the hell you are, there's always something to like look at and be like, you can tell that things were placed there very carefully and it wasn't just thrown there on the table for decoration. Like it has a purpose. So I really enjoyed that. And that's always been one of my favorite things about the Resident Evil franchise is that you can always kind of tell, put together a story in your head of like what happened depending on where you are. Uh, the horror, as horror aspect of it, don't want you to say, think I'm saying horror, is I'm happy, I'm, okay. So uh, to be honest with you guys, I've stopped reading news about Resident Evil 7 because I, I know enough, at least I think I know enough and I just want to be pleasantly surprised by the game when I get it and I don't want things to be spoiled for me. So with all of that said, last time I played the demo at PlayStation Experience, I came across a really fucking creepy ass creature in the basement and that was really reassuring to me because my impression of Resident Evil 7 had been that you were just going to be stuck in a house with crazy people and you have to escape. Nothing necessarily wrong with that, but I like more paranormally like eerie, like what the fuck is that kind of horror compared to like, oh, crazy Jason, J I'm gonna say Jason, like Jason Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know, I don't even watch those movies, so I don't even know if I was correct in that reference. You guys know what I mean. I prefer, prefer paranormal over like hack and slash. So um, I'm rambling, but I'm, I, I've loved the demo so far and I'm hoping that the actual game itself will have kind of that paranormal creepy feel to it because that creature I saw in the basement was fucking not normal. I put like eight shots in its head and it still was walking around like no, nothing. Not just a, just a flesh wound. Um, and I hope that there's the same amount of detail in Resident Evil 7. I'm just really excited for Resident Evil 7. I'm a Resident Evil fucking nut. I love Resident Evil so much. <gasps> so much, so much. So yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Ask Bridget. I hope you have a phenomenal weekend and thank you for your questions and I will see you next time. Bye.